Hi everyone, my name is Raj Parihar and I welcome you to Mastering Power Apps Beginners course. In this course, you will learn the basics of building custom solutions using the Power Apps platform. Also, we'll learn about designing and developing apps, connecting to data sources and other essential skills for creating effective and efficient solutions for your business needs. Whether you are new to Power Apps or have some prior experience, this course is designed to provide you the knowledge, resources and will add some value. I hope you will find this course helpful and I look forward to guiding you through the process of building your own Power App solutions. So let's start it. These are the course outlines which we are going to cover in this series. There are total six modules. We will start with first module, get started with Power Apps Canvas App. In module one, I will cover what is Power Apps and its capabilities, different type of roles in Power Apps like makers, users, admins, types of Power Apps like Canvas App, Model Driven App, Portal, and we'll wrap up this module by discussing about Power Apps Studio and App Designer. If you are interested in streamlining your business processes and getting more done in less time, then subscribing to my channel is a no-brainer. You will get access to exclusive content, tips and tricks, and so much more. Plus, you will be able to join me on this journey of learning and growth. So hit that subscribe button and let's get started. So what is Power Apps? Power Apps is a platform that allows you to create custom business apps that connect to your data sources, automate business processes. It includes a set of apps, services, connectors, and data platform that provides a fast development environment. Power Apps is very quick in terms of, you know, getting started with creating app. It allows you to create app directly from your existing data within few seconds. Power Apps can be used to connect to a variety of data sources, both on-prem and online, such as SharePoint, Microsoft 365, Dynamics 365, and SQL Server. With Power Apps, you can quickly build responsive apps that work on any device, including phones, tablets, and integrate with workflow automation to transform your manual processes into digital ones. There are various roles you can start with based on your interest and experience. First one is Power Apps for app makers creators or you may call them developers who develop the apps. Power apps for makers allow to create three type of apps, canvas app, model driven app and portal. Power apps allows developers to customize business app creation, apply server side and client side logic, integrate with external data, build custom connectors and embed apps into website, SharePoint based website or web pages. There is a standard web part on SharePoint where you can pass in the URL of your app, published app or the ID of your app. And you know, your app will uh, render directly on the web page. So how you can start with the Power Apps. To start with Power Apps, you need to navigate make.powerapps.com. Initially, when you will enter this URL and hit enter, you may redirect it to this uh, landing page of Power Apps or you may be redirected to a registration page where first you need to register yourself then later you will be redirected to this page this is the landing page for power apps we'll discuss more about this landing page in the coming modules now let me go back to my slides second role is app users App users are basically end users. They can run apps that you created or someone else created and shared with you. Next role is Power Apps for Admins. Power Apps for Admin can use Power Platform Admin Center by navigating to admin.powerplatform.microsoft.com to create and manage environments 
view data worlds, analytics, and many more other features. How you can navigate to admin.powerplatform.microsoft.com? Let me walk you through. On the home page, you can click on the gear icon. There at the top, the first option is admin center. Once you click on it, it will redirect to the admin center where you can see all the environments and data worlds related analytics and much more. These are the environments. Uh, in my case, I'm using two environments. First one is the dev and the second one is default. In your case, there might be multiple uh, environments like staging, development and the production. So what is environment? An environment in Power Apps is a container for resources used in app development such as data sources, connections, custom connectors, flows, multiple environments can be created and used to separate resources used in different stages of development such as testing and production. They can be managed and accessed from the Power Apps Admin Center. Next role is Power Apps and Dynamics 365. Dynamics 365 apps like Dynamics 365 Sales, Customer Service and Marketing also use the Dataverse platform used by Power Apps to store and secure data. This enables you to build apps using Power Apps and Dataverse directly in context to your core business data already used within Dynamics 365 without the need of integration. So what is Dataverse? Dataverse is a type of cloud-based data source. I will discuss more about Dataverse in coming videos. More about Power Apps. Build an app quickly by using the skills that you already have like HTML, CSS, JavaScript. You can use all those skills when you are developing an app in Power Apps. Connect to cloud services and data sources that you, you are already using. Like SharePoint, it could be Dataverse or maybe SQL. Third one, share your apps instantly so that coworker can use them on their phones and tablets. This course is designed to help beginners get started quickly with Power Apps as well as provide a review for those who are already familiar with the platform. It will cover the basics and help fill in any gaps in knowledge. So this is all for the module. I will cover much more in the coming modules. Stay tuned. Bye. If you enjoy the video and want to stay up to date related to Power Apps, Power Automate, SharePoint and RPA, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Your support really helps me out. See you in the next video.